The issues matter to our kids and our neighbors as well. We're not just covering the news. We're experiencing it with you. There's the scene at Mason Phillips Square in downtown Toronto. City Hall in the background. Panamania is in full swing, the cultural celebration. Tens of thousands are gathered, 45,000 gathered inside the Pan Am Dome, anticipating the opening ceremony of the 17th Pan American Games, which is about seven minutes away, featuring Cirque du Soleil. Huge sporting and cultural celebration. You know, Peter. for every opening ceremony we've watched in the past, one of the highlights is, of course, the end of the torch relay, when the torch finally arrives inside the stadium where the opening ceremony takes place. For the torch relay for these games, the Pan Am Games, started in Mexico, where the 2011 Pan Am Games was run. It started in Mexico, end of May, May 25th, and it's taken quite the journey since then, overland, by air, coast to coast, ending up here inside this stadium in just a little while. Here's the journey with Perdita. The voyage began at the site of the last games in Teotihuacan, Mexico, with a traditional lighting ceremony. The 41-day journey on Canadian soil began May 30th. A float plane landed in Toronto, and the torch was paddled to shore by the four key Aboriginal partners of the 2015 Games. The torch's trip was a cross-section of our nation, showcasing some of Canada's most iconic images. The Pan Am Flame took a trip on a Voyager canoe at Blind River. On much faster currents at Minden Hills, it rode down the rapids at the slalom venue for the Games. The flame visited Nova Scotia and the lighthouse at Peggy's Cove. The torch passed through the Pan Am Cross Country Center with the help of horsepower. In Richmond, BC, the Pan Am flame soared high on Grass Mountain in a paraglider. In Winnipeg, the flame visited a Canadian Forces base, then was cycled across the Provencher Bridge. Canada's Wonderland played host as the torch traveled on Canada's fastest and tallest roller coaster. In Montreal, Canadian speed skaters Marion saint gelais and Charmes Hamlet took the Pan Am Flame for a skate. On Canada Day, it was off to Parliament Hill, greeted by large crowds. In Calgary, the Flame participated in the Stampede Parade. The torch has traveled far and wide, and today the anticipation builds to the lighting of the cauldron, signifying the official opening of the 2015 Pan American Games. One of those torch relay runners, my buddy, Scott yeah. Russell. You know what, Peter, it was great. I had a chance to run on Albion Road in Etobicoke, along with Perdita Felician and the Canadian triathlete, Andrew York from London, Ontario. He was the first in our group, and he cycled it on his handlebars for five kilometers to get us going. It's a great way for ordinary people to feel extraordinary for a few moments in time, as we all will because the opening ceremony of the 17th Pan American Games is next. CBC's coverage of the Toronto 2015 Pan Am Games is brought to you by President's Choice, proudly feeding the athletes of the Toronto 2015 Pan Am Games by Ontario Lottery and Gaming and by Atoma for all your health and wellness needs. 